Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Pamela Anderson is making a comeback and she has come in for a, it's sort of a galaxy theme, um, mishmash, yeah. <laughs> I don't actually know what this theme is but they just reminded me of the kind of galaxy nails that I keep seeing. So I've gone in and used my Glitter Planet Easy Tips and now I'm going in with Blue Velvet, Bottle Nose, Juicy Grape and they are from Glitter Bells and I'm also going in the bright pink is called Paradise Punch from Nail Nails and it is absolutely stunning. It's got sort of a, a fine glitter in it as well and it's just perfect for this design. And I'm just applying them. Um, the first couple of beads that I put were at the cuticle area just so that my cuticle area is flush. And then the other beads, I'm just applying them quite wet and using my brush to sort of merge them into one another. It's kind of like a marble, um, but a bit messier, if that makes sense. There I also go in with a little bit of CJP coconut milk just to try and break all the colours up just a little bit. And then I just drag my brush through them. The brush that I'm using is the CJP Big Boy brush. And then I will continue this all the way up the nail until I'm happy before moving on to our next step. So I wanted to add a little bit of um, chrome. So all I've done is dipped my brush in Glitterati Nails Fairy Chrome and I'm using purple and aqua. And it just really, the aqua, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. So, so beautiful. And I'm yeah, I'm just using a dry brush and just placing that on the nail and then using my brush to sort of sweep that about the nail a little bit. And this was just, yeah, absolutely love this. So, so pretty. And then I'm going to go in with some glitters and flakes, which just really finished them off. So this first glitter that I'm using is called Magic Shimmer Flake number, I think it's number four. I'm pretty sure it's number four. Um, I spilt something on the lid where it says a number, but I'm pretty sure it's number four. I'll double check, but I am... 99.9% sure it's number four. So Magic Shimmer Flake number four from Glitterati Nails. And then also going in with Snowy Owl from Glitterati Nails, which is also one of my favourite glitters ever. It's just such an amazing glitter. On the ring finger and the middle finger, we're going to be doing the same sort of technique, but this time I'm only going to be going... Um, doing the marble halfway up the nail over the free edge because I'm going to ombre this nail as well. So again, I'm just placing all of my colours and using my brush to push those into one another and create that sort of marble galaxy effect. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then again, I will go in with my glitters and my chromes. So what I will do, guys, is I will jump off for a minute because you don't want to hear me rambling on. I'll let you watch um, this in peace. And then if I think I need to jump back on, I will jump back on and let you know what's going on. Here I'm just going in with the magic shimmer flakes and then the glitter. And then I will go in with the fairy chrome and do exactly the same on the middle finger.
So moving on to the index finger, again, I'm gonna be doing the same as I did on the pinky. So placing my first beads towards the cuticle area and pushing them up as close as I can get them. And then going in with Paradise Punch, Bottle Nose, blue velvet and then i'm just going to sort of swirl them into one another i thought these colors were absolutely perfect for this design as well i absolutely love them and i think the pink is just stunning there again i went in with a bit of coconut milk and paradise punch that one is the bottle nose and again just swishing them around the nail until i'm happy and then i will go in with my flakes and my chromes and then I will move on to back to the index finger, no, not the index finger, the middle finger and the ring finger to create my ombre. So for the ombre, I am using Flawless from Nail Nails. This is one of my favourite nudes. It's so pretty. And I just place my first bead and just bring that up over the colours. And then I'll go in with a cuticle bead. For some reason, I don't know why, but this nail looks really full and fat on one side. But once I fired it, it was absolutely fine. So there I'm going in with my cuticle bead, pushing that down towards the cuticle without touching it and then bringing it up. And then I'm going to do exactly the same on the middle finger. And as you can see, I've let all the other nails set before I do anything else with them because I don't want to ruin them. I don't want any of the glitters um, or the flakes or the chromes to move about the nail. And then once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go in with nail foil glue from Model Ones. This is before doing any encapsulating and applying that on the nail and then curing that for 60 seconds in my lamp before going in with the Glitterati Nails um, Holographic Gold Foil. Don't do this. <laughs> I learned the hard way. So I wanted to apply the foil and then encapsulate it. But unfortunately, when I encapsulated it, I lost the holographic from the foil. So at the end, I did end up going back in with a little bit more on the surface of the nail. So yes, I would highly recommend skipping this bit unless you're using um, a foil that isn't holographic and you're not too fussed about that, then go ahead and do this way. In a way it was good because when I did go back in with some foil, um, it did create some depth to the nail, which was quite cool. But as you can see, the holographic, from that foil just disappeared um but yeah i rolled with it it was fine so i'm just going to go in and encapsulate all of these nails in clear acrylic then once they were fully set i did go in and file them i filed them off camera because um the tips just don't stay in they keep falling out and it gets very stressful so yeah i'm just making sure that all of that glitter the pigments the flakes everything is fully encapsulated so making sure that the whole nail has gone matte, that way I know that everything is encapsulated. Then I went in, filed them with a 100 grit nail file, buffed over with a buffing block. And yeah, they're just so pretty, so, so pretty.
so now I'm gonna go in and top coat these nails. Watch this. Oh my god. So pretty. I tried to do like I tried to top coat it like really sexy, but just yeah, it didn't work out for me. So what I do is because I'm gonna go back in with the foil. Um I didn't actually realise about the foil until I took them out the lamp. I don't know why I didn't notice whilst I was top coating. So all I did is I top coated the nails and then cured them for one minute in my LED lamp. The top coat I'm using is the Nail Nails, uh, it's the Nail Lounge Collections Ultimate Gloss Top Coat. Applying that to all of the nails and then I'm going to cure that for one minute under my LED lamp. Then I went back in with some of the Model Ones Nail Foil Gel. Cured that for one minute, went in with my holographic gold foil and then re-top coated all of the nails i did do that off camera but there is um clips of what they look like with the holographic foil on top as well and to be quite honest i'm not actually sure which one i prefer because i really loved them like this um and then i went in with a holographic foil i'm not sure if i prefer them when they weren't holographic but they're absolutely stunning i was really really happy with this set i don't think i've ever done like a galaxy themed set of nails on my channel so I thought this would be really cool um but yeah there's some pictures and little videos at the end of this video so make sure you stay till the end but thank you all so 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 that's with sorry that's without the gold foil being put on top and this is with the holographic foil on top so I'm not sure which one I prefer. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer. Thank you so, so much for watching. Love you all. I hope you're all safe and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.